Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the new cards that are coming in the Realm of Light structure deck. So basically Light Sworns are getting a few new cards that um, has been in the OCG for a while now. But finally Light Sworns are going to become a little bit more of a different deck. They're still going to rely on their main strategy, but they're going to have a lot more options. And I know a lot of people, you know, aren't as big of a fan of Light Sworns because of Judgment Dragon and things like that. But I feel like the deck is going to have a lot more going on and will have a lot more interesting plays and just become a more fun deck in general with these new cards. So they're getting a new spell card called Light Sworn Sanctuary. Now this one is a really interesting one. This one just allows you to kind of um, recycle and mess with your hand in your graveyard. Um, this is really cool because a lot of times you'll have multiple copies of the same card in your graveyard and you want to you know exchange that for the, sp the copies you want and bring out judgment dragon and you'll be able to reuse you know a lot of the light sworn effects because you'll be able to keep getting light sworns you want and also this um is sort of like a field card because it has a multiple effect it also protects uh light sworns which is not you know the biggest deal but also uh pretty nice to stall until you're able to you know get out judgment dragon so i think this card will be really good for light sworns so Light Swords are also getting three tuners, um, very interesting cards. Usually tuners aren't um, as strong as these are, so really interesting. First off is Felice. So Felice is kind of like Wolf, um, needs to be special summoned. Um, decent stats, 2,000, um, can definitely stall for a little bit. Big thing about this card is that you can destroy things, which can be uh, very nice, but also just that it's a level 4 tuner that will allow you to bring out, you know, Synchros. Light Swords are going to have, you know, more of an extra deck going on and we'll be able to do a lot more interesting plays. So um, this will be very commonly brought out um, with Luma and just make, making those uh, really good plays. And then we have Minerva. So Minerva is one that I'm not as big of a fan of. So you're able to search out uh, Light Dragons, but you really need a lot of Light Swarns in your graveyard to be able to do that. Um, it depends on what you're running. If you're running certain Light Dragons, that um, are lower leveled. You can, you know, add them to do other interesting plays, um, depending, like, you know, Dragonstone, if you want to bring out, you know, Synchros and things like that. Searching out Judgment Dragon with this card is not going to be really, um, it could be possible, but most of the time it probably won't be. It's going to be very difficult to have that many Light Swarns in your graveyard. But because it's a three-star tuner, um, we'll be able to use this with the four-star Light Swarns to, again, get out the synch Synchro that I'll be talking about or we can bring it out with Lumina and get out six star synchros. So I could see the possibilities for it, but out of all the new cards, I don't think I'm as big of a fan of it. And then Raid and Hand of the Light Sworn. So this card I think is really good. So 1700 attack for a tuner, and also that he can just mill um, you know, when you want to, which is really cool. A lot of the Light Sworns don't let you do that. So this one will just allow you to mill, and he'll also gain attack, which is really, really nice, um, because he's already 1700 and a tuner. So being able to gain even more attack is really good. Obviously, another option for Lumina that you'll be able to, uh, you know, bring out your Synchros. So combined, you know, Lumina is going to become a very powerful card because it's going to have access to a lot of really good plays to bring out uh, Synchros. So um, even though Lumina has been an important card in the past, it's going to be even more so with these combination plays that Light Swarns are going to be able to make. So now um, the, like, Synchro monster, the Light Swarns are getting a very interesting card, a 7-star Keep in mind that it doesn't require Light Sworns, it requires a non-tuner Light, so other decks could use this, and they can abuse its effect, which can be really nice. Um, some other decks might splash that in, I'm not sure uh, so far, but something to keep in mind. Big thing is that he can just banish cards on the field, which is very strong, so obviously like Judgment Dragon, he's going to be helping to try to clear the field a bit. Another nice thing about him is that you can recycle Light Sworns and gain life points, so giving you sort of like other options with Light Sworns. If you're going to deck out, you can recycle and kind of, you know, come back from what you're trying to do. Um, you could recycle only the Light Sworns you want to still be able to use Judgment Dragon. So a lot of interesting plays. I'm really liking that um, Light Sworns are going to have access to a good Synchro and Judgment Dragon. So they're going to have, you know, a few different options and they're be going to become a more uh, interesting deck type. So those are the only new cards. Obviously, it's a full structure deck, so there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be in there, but these are the ones to keep an eye on because you're going to start to see them in actual Light Sworn decks. I do think a lot of this stuff is going to get um, put in people's decks. I think they're going to want to have access to the Synchro. I think those plays with Lumina are going to be very strong in case you don't get Judgment Dragon. You know, uh, Light Sworns are based on luck a lot of the time because of how Judgment Dragon is and because of all the milling. So I think um, with cards like this, it's going to be less luck based because we're going to have, you know, that ability to recycle. We're going to have that ability to synchro summon, that ability to, you know, uh, recover life points and stuff like that. So I really like uh, where the deck is heading and, you know, with this new support, it should become a much more uh, interesting deck type.
But I definitely want to hear uh, what you guys have to say if you guys are interested in any of these new cards coming out, if you're interested in the archetype and want to see uh, what it's going to be doing. So uh, let me know in the comments below. But uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.